漫画っていうのはねもともとチャイニーズ中国語なんですよでこれねあの非常に面白いんですけどねあの鳥の名前なんですそれから何,何についても書くという意味に転じてですね日本でエッセイいろんなことを書くエッセイとかですね、えー、それから絵ですね何でもかんでもこう絵で集めて書くそういう本の名前に実は漫画ってのがあったんですこれがえー、っと大体17世紀ぐらいからあるんですよ I believe comics should be a common medium, like the mother's body to share feelings. If you grow up with comics, then there is no more global conflict and misunderstanding of each other. Manga world, or the sheen of the manga, or the storytelling, or the narrative of manga and animation, those are mirrors of the,、uh, our own society. Instead of religion, instead of myth, in Japanese society, the manga or cartoon、uh, could function so far as the replacement of those k i n d of things, and myth or religion. People here, people in Japan, there's no age, a limit in age of reading a manga book. There's a manga for everybody. If you like sports, there's a manga for basketball, baseball, soccer. There's a manga for ma the mafia world. Like snipers, just love romance. In the West, comics are regarded as only for children. In Japan, businessmen, doctors, and politicians read them. There are so many genres of comics which are of the high quality, also, there are specialized genres. 
講談社は講談社 is the biggest publishing company in Japan. We sell four million copies of the weekly boys comic Shonen Shukan. There's a lot of different kind of magazines, but weekly magazines, but they're all thick because they have a little bit, like ten pages of each manga that's been published. The reason Japanese manga society became so big was people were asking for relaxation to manga. If the country becomes very, very stressful country and society with a competitive market, there is a demand of manga or anime. People need space to escape and have a rest. I see comics are another reality. It is a kind of sub-reality. Reading comics takes stress out of daily reality. For Japanese, a comic world is a familiar reality. People get inner satisfaction from reading comics. They can release their emotions, which they don't show in public. They project their feelings into the comic fiction world. Reading comics is an outlet for their frustrations and yearnings. Comics are a mirror of our society, which can show you what we really think and feel inside of us, which we should not express in our reality. There is a huge gap between what Japanese are holding inside and actual behavior. Businessmen read comics which show heavy violence and erotic scenes. For example, a woman is raped by a slug. It is no problem to read this on the train. We shouldn't hide violence and eroticism in comics. We shouldn't put down these evocative images. We exist within so-called negative factors. Sexuality, violence, blood and death are part of life. Through it, we confirm our existence. It's not living life if society doesn't accept death. This manga is called Vagabond. The artist is Ibanoe Takehiko. He wanted to draw, uh, make a comic about, you know, the fear of death. Bakabon is the biggest selling comic by Kodansha Publishing Company. This comic comes in 15 volumes and has sold 15 million copies. This is about a, an actual historical character called uh, Miyamoto Musashi. This talks about is the the samurai era. It's basically street fights with swords. He uses not a sword but a wooden sword and his rival had a sword but he was able to defeat him because he was more good with the mind game. You know, conquering fears, it's all about the mind. Jump Comics it's a weekly magazine. They have to keep on, they are drawing the mangas continuously, day after day, hours, you know, they can't waste any minutes. But I, I could see the publishing companies putting pressure on the artists. The Jump Comic I started reading when I was like middle school, like sixth or seventh, maybe eighth grade. Um, it all started from reading Dragon Ball.
the reason why it's so big is because this has a, all, this also has a distinctive world, something different from the real real world. All the drawings are connected. In the artist Toriyama Akira, he drew one big drawing on the side of the book as a collection just for collectors of the Ryu, the dragon. Mandarake comic book shop sell 100,000 comics item each day. I started the trend of selling second-hand comics. There's always so a big demand in Japan for reading those weekly magazines. But once you're reading the magazine, it's such a big magazine that they just throw it away. Those magazines that have been thrown away, all the collectors, they gather them and then resell it at a cheaper place. Price like Hyakuen, which is like less than a dollar. And then there's a lot of people that would buy that. Just, it's like a cycle where people buy and then throw it away, but other people, another person would just pick it up and resell it, and another person would buy it and then throw it away, and then it just keeps on going. Japanese comic history is very old. It started with Chojo Giga by Toda Sojo during the 12th and 13th century. The artist Katsushika Hokusai was the first to refer to his art as manga 300 years ago. Historically, Japanese art has been based on handwriting and line drawing. That's very unique compared to European art. For example, we had ukiyo-e from 14th century. Choju Giga is one of the most famous works. Countries of the East have a drawing culture. Of course, Comics are made by handline drawing. We already had a drawing art history before comics. So for the public, it was easy to accept comics because it relates to our cultural background. For China and cultures that use kanji alphabet, there is no difference between pictures and written characters. Kanji characters are very picture-like. Kanji and comics have a similar iconographic quality. Our writing system and pictures are closely related. For Japanese, it is very easy to accept having character script and pictures on a comic page. From Edo period, 17th century onwards, we already had woodblock printing. We refer to that as primitive cartoons. Those artists had a good story and technique. During the Meiji Restoration period of 1868, the Japanese comic style was influenced by a British cartoonist, Charles Wagman. He made cartoons in the newspaper. Modern newspaper printing techniques had a big impact on the Japanese comic scene. This British cartoonist showed newspaper comic, caricature, satire styles, which influenced Japanese comics. This was the first revolution for Japanese comics. In the 60s, it was a strong youth culture movement. The comic movement in Japan was like the Beatles, the pop music movement. It was the same as pop music. Through this movement, lots of young people started being involved in the comic scene. Young people started drawing comics, not just reading. At that time, this made the comic market bigger and more diverse. Before TV and movies, comic culture got so popular because it was cheaper and easier to get. Especially in the 70s, more comics emerged for adults and middle-aged people. Comic genres diversified. 
Comics are not just entertainment. Comics deal with politics and philosophy as well. Since the 70s, comics became a media with the same depth and sophistication as novels and film. I think that is only in Japan. Japanese are obsessed about cartoon characters. They love them. The key word is cute, kawaii in Japanese. I was born in 1944. Next year, World War II was over. There was nothing to play with for kids, but at least we had comics. Tezuka's appearance on the comic scene brought a high quality. Tezuka introduced a filmmaking technique and style into comics. His comics really inspired the following generation of comic artists. At that time, there was not enough materials to make comics. All you need is pencil and paper. I think comic artists are the same as a film director. Originally, we had the novels and Tezuka comics. Animation started from Tezuka's wish to move his comic. Animation is based on moving comics. <laughs> The, the erotic scene, you know, everybody loves the erotic scenes. Everybody in their mind has, has a fantasy. When I plan a comic story, I have a similar desire as I have before having sex. Next, I do drafting and setting up characters and pictures. While doing this process visually, I feel very erotic. At this stage, I feel sexually aroused by drawing a curved line. I am a Catholic Christian. My background was a very strict Catholic family. So there were many sexual taboos. When Catholic teaching told me about a taboo, I reacted by being extremely fascinated in sexuality. So I had a struggle with it. But one day, I realized, why am I suffering from taboo? Then I took off a hoop, which was sitting on the back of my mind for a long time. Since then, I've been releasing my sexual desire, which piled up inside of me through making comics. I am a Christian, but I am accepting a Buddhist teaching which is vague toward taboo. The most popular erotic comic for young Japanese women is the genre, Boys Love. These are stories about homosexual, beautiful boys. Japanese women love it. I don't know, but I think it's been 30 years. 
、えー、とボーイズラブは漫画の、えー、男の子のキャラクターのお友達が、まあ、私たちによってこう愛し愛される関係になるようなスタイルのことを言います。えっと、日本の女の子がどうしてボーイズラブに夢中になるのかっていうのはうんそうですね私個人の意見ですけどやっぱりこう男の子同士の、えっと、友情とか世界っていうのは女の子が入り込めないいわゆるファンタジーなものだと思うんですねそれでやっぱりそういう世界に女の子はすごい夢を抱いてるっていうか想像するんです。最近のジェイ。They have a special fantasy for women wearing a uniform. They get excited when they can have a relationship with uniformed girls. パブリッシャーは、プッシャーを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャラクターを見つけたキャ Then publishers request that Eros artists follow that style because they are driven by profit. Japanese women are quite tolerant. Historically, Japanese society has an open, generous attitude to sex. In all Japanese community housing called Nagaya, wife swapping was common. When a baby was born, the community looked after it. Japanese artists don't draw an expression of great joy while having sex. We draw an expression of embarrassment and hesitation rather than joy. That is what the readers want to see, and the artists enjoy drawing that emotion. Japanese men don't like women that are unrestrained for sex. I think Japanese teenagers are learning about sex from erotic comics. There is some pleasure in society to stop selling erotic comics at convenience stores. 
Some of these comics are not good, but if we stop selling erotic comics altogether, then there are only hardcore adult videos for adult viewers. If Japanese men start learning about sex from those videos, it's not good. It's annoying for Japanese women. <laughs> People say my comic style is cute, scary, cool. Often people point out the duality in my style, both cute and grotesque. If you look around the world, there are many dualities. There is light and dark. I am drawing my comics how the world is. As a kid, I was influenced by sexy, strong anime characters with a magic wand. It's natural for me to draw sexy woman's power. Japanese male readers find my characters too scary. Hi, Daisuke. This manga is really fun. I've been reading a lot of manga from the past. I've been reading a lot of manga from the past. I've been reading a lot of manga from the past. でその自分で描いた漫画のキャラクターとかのファッションを自分でしたいなって思ってだオリジナルのコスプレかもしれない。<笑>あの変身したいっていう気持ちがどこかにあると思うんですねだけど自分なりのスタイルをこう作るのは最初はちょっと難しいかもしれないから最初コスプレからこう入る人が多いと思いますそのもともとあるキャラクターに変身するっていう意味で自分の変身願望をちょっと満たしてるでそれがさらにこうオリジナルになったりとかするともっといろいろこう派手になったりとか。自分なりのスタイルになっていくからやっぱりみんな変身したいんじゃないかなと思います。This is Akihabara. This is a place 
for electric goods, comics, anime, computer games, and cosplay. If you go to Electric Chan and Akihabara, you always see something new and you go like, oh, I have to buy it. You buy it somehow, and then a few months later, there's a new one coming. It's like, I don't know, you know. This is a shop in Paradise of Otaku. Akihabara is the sacred place for otaku. What is otaku? Say it's not. Mania. Otaku is people who can be very crazy about something. Otaku are people who have an obsessive passion for their hobby. The Akihabara scene is full of comic and animation otaku. They have a deep knowledge of what they like. They really know what they love. Their presence can help animation develop, as the business animation culture has never developed without them. What they think is new and great is always trend setting. We often go to Akihabara to do market research to check out what otaku are into. So what otaku feel is new or great is going to be the next trend then that will influence our future projects. I am so pleased that there are more otaku and business is increasing. I wish that there will be more otaku. Otaku people are spending about $1,000 each month. There are about 200,000 otaku in Japan. So all otaku are spending $200 million a year. It's a fantastic thing that the culture that otaku have established has been recognized in society. I want this otaku culture to expand more and become mainstream culture. Japanese comic culture has a powerful influence in society. Comics are a source that can offer content for media such as TV and film. Characters from comics are made into commercial merchandising. Comics remain as a cultural reservoir for pop culture. 
TV, film, and animation. Now, pop music has merged with animation. In our culture, we are so used to idol figures. We have a custom to pray for Buddhist statues. Japanese spirituality has many idol effigies. In Japan, the relationship to the toy business and animation is deep and close. It's merchandising goods, figures, dolls, toys. For example, toy companies request to animation creators that each character's style and design be easily recreated as a figure doll, which they can sell as a product. Companies like Bandai and Tommy invest in and sponsor anime on TV. They influence the design, style, and the image of the characters of merchandising goods. Kids and adults read the comic and watch the animation on TV and DVDs. Then they go out and buy their favorite character figures and toys. Character business all the character contents business is estimated at $20,000 million per year. The popular robot in Japan is Gundam. It has been a series and is still going. Gundam was just animation. What's special is that all the characters became figures. Kids love to buy the kid set packets and make the figures. I was one of them. It's beyond a 2D character. It's more intimate when you make a 3D figure. The boys who enjoyed making Gundam figures are now adults. They bought all the figures and are now working in the animation business. Otaku Spirits is someone who spend money on these two dimensional girls. Yes, the comic sex fantasy market is huge. It appeals to young male adults who are awkward about skinship having physical relationship with women. Comic culture has become big because of this fantasy need. Japanese men are very shy and not good at communicating in person. 
So they have a this fantasy and project it onto comic characters. Manga とかアニメーションの中にあの自分のこう妄想みたいな。They use these characters as a fantasy media, enjoying it with other otaku people. 仲間と楽しむという。高校のサブカルチャーが発展したんだと思います。それがまあオタク文化と言われて。They establish a feeling of communication. This social need has created a subculture called otaku. Otaku Japanese men are the product of family psychology. Since World War II, fathers have been workaholic all day. And into the night for their company. With absent distant fathers, mothers have immense influence on boys. In adult life, emotional, physical intimacy with women is challenging. <laughs> あたり、えー、サークルで、えー、1万2000ぐらいが参加するんですけど、まあ、売り手、えー、本を出す側が。Altogether, for the winter two-day event, 400,000 people attend. Summertime, Komike is a three-day event in which 600,000 people gather. Komike can offer an opportunity and situation for people to meet and exchange. My motivation to organize this event is coming from my gratitude for comics, which influenced me since I was a child. It's an opportunity for fans to distribute their own created comics. Comic Cat Market is a real life event in which you can participate. Manga animation fans wear their favorite costume and uniform. We didn't have a custom in Japan for fancy dress parties before, but for Comic Cat, people really enjoy dressing up in their fantasy character costume. Japanese seldom have a chance to dress up like this. Cosplay has now become one of our well-known pop cultures in society. As organizers, we ask people to make their own costume. In the West, such as America and Europe, comics can be a counterculture towards mainstream culture. But in Japan, comic culture is integrated with society. It is not seen as a counterculture.
In the middle of the 70s, free expression with comics was restricted with censorship. We had to find another space and place to express our message freely and independently. That's how Comicet started, before it was a small alternative rare event. For the last 30 years, the independent comic artist Dojinshi scene has changed. Many new creators have emerged and the scene has got bigger and bigger. The market is very large and it's, it's sort of like underground market. To go to the comic market is the fastest and cheapest way to, become, or to purchase new good Dojinshi in quality and also Dojinshis are mainly drawn by the amateur um, cartoonists, manga artists. Um, since the market itself is a very competitive market, and top level Dojinshi artists are very skillful, and they are as good as a professional manga artist. And many of the amateur Dojinshi artists became professional manga artists for fans of Dojinshi. What is the fun part to do in, by collecting Dojinshi is also to find a good amateur Dojinshi artist who, can, who has a chance to become professional. The fans, hardcore fans especially, are looking to find a new, new person, a new artist who has a much of talent and a gift. And then they enjoy looking for their art pieces and then they become very happy when this uh, amateur doujinshi artist became professional and known worldwide. Hard gag na mono mo arimasu kedo. His brush and bin darling. Yappari iron na ano sakuni o kaite sakka no hito to chokseto tsureai koto. Kore ga na kya mo natsu to fuyu wa nai te kanji desu ne. In Japan, family and company have been the two main things in your life. People didn't have much time for themselves and their hobbies. But in the late 70s and 80s, people started to value their hobbies and private time. Drawing comics became a passion. I know there are Sunday cartoonists, lots of them come to Comicet. At the beginning, there was a big difference between the independent comic creators and commercial comics. In the 80s, the independents had a big influence over commercial comics. Now, there is no real difference or boundary between the two. Comics started as storytelling for children. For boys and girls, it had to be cute and cool. That's the charm of a hero and heroine. Storytelling is the most important thing, but some obsessed fans focus only on the cute aspect. For the last 30 years, characters have been worshipped. For the last four years, this cute obsession is called Moe. I am 18 years old and I'm going to high school. I have a part-time job and spend all my money at Komike. I have spent a thousand dollars. Simply speaking, Moe means love. I fell in love at first sight with one comic character, then I became an otaku. Before, I couldn't imagine that I would fall in love with a comic anime character. It was the right time for me. 
I bought a comic which had my favorite character. Then I bought a game with this character. Then I discovered Comic It. Now I am having fun with the people I just met today. Moe is a Japanese verb meaning sprouting, budding, or awakening new life, or how sweet, how lovely, how pure, like cherry blossoms, or the purity of a newborn baby. Otaku people say moe to express their feeling, I love something, towards animation and comic characters. Often, you see moe images of girls in school uniform, or young girls under 12 years. So people get a wrong impression that moe means lolita complex or pedophilia. No, it isn't. We even have moe feelings towards robots. Moe is a word you can use to express a strong feeling towards an image or object. There's a game software called Beautiful Girls. In this game, it is important that the girls are virgins for otaku, so they can enjoy training them to be their ideal sexual mate. Otaku are interested in young girls. In reality, prepubescent girls are not sexually mature. But otaku have sexual relationships with them in their imagination within this virtual reality game. In this game, you can program the girl to do what you wish. Of course, it's impossible to do this in actual society, in the real world. There are moe posters throughout Akihabara and around the train station. It's the same as otaku's bedrooms, which are decorated with comic animation doll figures and posters. This fantasy imagery is a protection from the real world. They want to live in their own fantasy world. Now, otaku fantasies are taking over Akihabara's public space. Their psychological space is going out into the public space. Overly sexed characters in otaku manga have a psychological split. Childlike, cute, kind, nurturing, such as a popular moe trend. This tyrant's fantasy is a cosplay of maid cafes, which are boom in Japan. But contrastingly, there's a portrayal of violence Said masochism and bondage upon such fetish characters, it's called hentai in Japanese. If you see lots of sex and violence in Japanese comics, that doesn't mean there are social problems with sex and violence. I don't believe you can correlate strong themes in comics as having a bad influence in society. The Japanese society is far safer and more peaceful than countries which don't have a vast and sophisticated comic culture. I can walk around Tokyo at the middle of the night and I feel quite safe. I have lived in large cities in the West, 
but they are more dangerous. Stereotypically speaking, Japanese are very famous with uh, politeness and uh, gentle. And uh, this society is based on uh, ritualistic procedure. Uh, they are very polite. In the uh, cartoon, in uh, Japanese animation, there are a lot of violences, sexism, and the queer world. How is it possible such a kind of the extreme, uh, the binary opposition or dichotomy? Japan is a shame culture. People don't act out aggressively, misbehave badly, or do nothing thing to each other because of the fear of condemnation and judgment from others toward them and their family. People don't want to lose their face in society.の昔からのマナーです。日本語自体も遠極な表現が多く、英語のように理論的で直接的な言語ではありません。日本語を話すということは、相手の本心を探ったり、本音を推測する作業とも言えます。その際、言葉の奥に秘められている感情も。Injotaku imagination or manga anime virtual world. They are free to let their emotions go with extreme stories because society trains them to be very controlled and not let their feelings break through their social mask. Manga is the biggest pop culture in Japan as well as the deepest underground culture. If you want to get behind the mask of Japanese society, read manga.